Hello and welcome back to Blender Change Left Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you how I set up a random walk using geometry nodes. So the setup is really simple. Basically, you start with a single point and then you give like a random value and then kind of um, accumulate the value. So you have, you end up with a curve with a, you know, like random path and you can randomize the seed. Okay, so let, let's start from scratch. We have the default cube and we're gonna switch to geometry nodes, create new geometry nodes. Um, for random walk, we're gonna use random value and random vector. Okay, so we're gonna start with something like this. So random value and we also need something like a curve line. You can use either curve line or mesh line. Uh, whichever you comfortable with let's plug this into the geometry let's save this very quickly random walk I've done this in the past using sphere chop and I think the concept is should be pretty clear so you have this mesh line with uh, 10 points that's the default and it's, and it's going in the Z directions if you use something like a set position and if you plug in this random value into the position, you're gonna end up with, oops, you're gonna end up with this line with random vector positions, right? And you can increase the number of points and it's gonna just create this kind of like a crazy line. So this is, it's a sort of like, of like random walk, but uh, not yet exactly you kind of want to have this random value but it's kind of accumulating so you want to use something like accumulate field okay so this is where the magic is gonna happen gonna switch to vector points and this random value with will go inside this value and we have this leading and trailing value and this is kind of the value of vector that keeps adding up. If I'm not wrong, you can use viewer nodes. And let's take a look under spreadsheet. We If we plug this value there and then, okay, we have geometry and value. So we should have like a, like a viewer. Maybe we should plug it this there. Okay, the viewer, you see that there's a value. And this value, I believe, it's a, uh, it's growing. Anyhow, we don't, don't worry about the viewer. Let's take a look at the, result of this if we plug this the leading into the positions okay suddenly we have a random walk so there's a leading and the trail which one do you want the leading or the trail I think they're kind of similar but let's take a look closer leading trails we probably want to have we want to have it as a trails like you start with the zero 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 and then you kind of have random value and it's keep adding on the last points and yeah I think this is the random walk so this is probably done in my case I want to actually use curve line so we can have like a smooth line in the end so I will just plug this into the geometry so now we have just a single curve um resample let's resample this curve now we can use this count to control our line so let's let's now tie, tidy this up so there's a count and also the seed okay we can have random seed and random number of counts for our curve so this is this is pretty much 
done and we can create duplicates and take a look at the modifier of four of geometry nodes we can change the count and change the seed so we have random walk like multiple like a different objects with different seed and different count okay that's cool um, ideally if only we can do this inside geometry nodes itself so like if we select all and then control G so we we have we are creating like a group node if we hit tab and go out you can see this is a, a single uh, like curve with random seed and random count ideally really I like to be able to kind of vectorize this and randomize the seed inside geometry nodes I don't know if that's gonna be I don't know if it's already possible or not but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's possible I don't like win with instancing if we instance on points and if we create like a grid 3 by 3 so we have 9 9 points and we if we instance so currently this is the result and we cannot just plug in the seed like that I don't know maybe I'm missing something anyhow for the moment I will randomize simply by using um, sphere chop okay something like sphere chop oh by the way if you want to smooth if you want to smooth the line you can do that by using set spline type and set it to nerves so this is the result is going to be smooth yep okay so we have this curve and also you probably want to use curve to mesh and use a circle plug this there so we have this okay set radius can do fancy stuff like random value yeah So there's a like random radius happening. Might need to resample again. So we, we have more details if you want to do that. Okay. I think that's interesting enough right so we have a single object we have ability to change the seed and change the count let's make the count like 1000 for now let's make like a couple of duplicates so we have 10 we want to randomize this using sphere chop because the, each one of them is a different object so sphere chop get objects get selections and set object ID object goes in right click on the seed copy full data path paste here we want to modify the object for each object modifier we want to randomize the value uh, what is this random number random number between what 0 and 1000 size of 10 plug this there and for each one of them we have random value we just need to reload this okay we have the result let's just option G to reset all the positions now we have random walk we can increase the number 3000 and turn on random color now we have the random walk just uh, in the past I I use sphere chalk for all of this but now we have geometry nodes 
to be able to do this it's really it's really quite neat okay to be able to do this that easy you know it's a, it's actually quite complicated let's make a bunch so i just make like 30 let's have 30 you know and then reload now all of them should be random if we get selections okay select all by type mesh get selections reload okay now all of them should be random and we have something that looks like inside our body you know like uh, like worms or something or like a dna structure protein structure okay so i think that should be pretty clear and now you can always go back to the geometry nodes and we have this something to play around with random positions we could actually instead of using position we can offset so we can control the directions of the random walk kind of yep let's just use position for now just zero this out what else can we do we can actually make change the value of the random walk vector math and multiply this scale just scale the value you can use noise maybe instead of random value but the random value is almost looking like a noise anyway if you use like if you do it like really small value now we have total mass but i think that's basic yeah that's the basic of random random walk so just name this random walk you can save this as a, an asset in blender so you can just every time you need it you can just um, load it from the asset manager i will probably share this on the sketch fab in a bit so yeah that's pretty much the random walk it's pretty easy and simple concept but also really powerful hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye